Hello friends, I am Sanjay Gupta. In this video, I am going to demonstrate you how you can read inputs from user in Java programs. So you can see this program. In this program, uh, I have imported a package which is util and inside util package there is a class which is known as scanner. So I am going to use scanner class to create object so that we can read input from user. So name of class is sum, then public static void main main method is defined here. Inside main three variables int abc are declared. Then I have created a scanner object which is input. So name of object is input, then object is created through new scanner and it is linked with system.in. So system.in representing that uh, input object will read all the values from console. So system.in refers to console. Then system.out.println, uh, this statement prints enter first number message on console. Then a dot, sorry, a equals to input dot next int. So input is object and next int is method. So this next int method is already defined in scanner class. So we are accessing uh, next int method through input object. So this uh, statement will read a value from a user and the result will be assigned into A. Then similarly, these two statements will work. So enter second number message will be uh, printed on console and through input dot next int, another number will be stored inside B. Then C equals to A plus B. This will add uh, values of A and B and the result will be stored inside C. Then system dot out dot print ln message will print uh, value of C on console. So inside double quotes sum equals to is written which will uh, print as it is. Then for separation I have used plus and then C will print the uh, addition of A and B on console. So first I have to save this program in the system. So for that purpose I have to click on file then save as. So I am saving this file with sum.java name because name of class is sum that's why I have to mention sum.java then save as type is uh, all files and I am saving this file in d drive practice and test java folder so now I am uh, going to click on save so you can see on title bar name of file is sum.java is written so now I have to open command prompt so I am moving to D drive, then I am changing folder uh, CD space practice, CD stands for change directory. So right now I am in D drive and practice folder. Then I have to uh, move to test Java folder. So CD space test Java. Now I am in test Java folder. Now you can type DIR. So you can see there are total three files test.java and test.class uh, it is for uh, another program uh, for uh, our program file name is sum.java so sum.java is available but first we have to uh, compile this program so for that purpose java c space sum.java we have to type and press enter so i have pressed enter and uh, no uh, errors are available in the program that's why uh, uh, this java c command is uh, showing no errors then for execution i have to type java sorry before execution i am showing you the bytecode so you can see previously a folder was containing test.class test.java and sum.java now it is containing four files so sum.java and uh, along with it sum.class file is available so it is bytecode for uh, our sum.java uh, source file so now I can execute bytecode by java command. So uh, I am typing java space sum and then enter. So it is asking for first number. So I am entering 22 as first number. It is asking for second number. I am entering 33 as second number. So you can see the output sum equals to 55. So friends with the help of this program uh, you, you are able to read values from user. So for that purpose, I have used scanner class and through scanner class, I have called next int method of this class. So if you want to read float values, then you can declare float variables 
and you have to change next int method into next float similarly next double and so on so uh, implement this program in your system so that you are also uh, you you will be uh, able to read values from console for calculation purposes so thank you for watching this video